Are you getting ready to take the Praxis Core Mathematics exam? That's test code 5733, which covers academic skills in mathematics, including the subtopic of geometry, which we'll cover today. Hi, my name is Morgan, and I'm a Praxis coach with Study.com, and I've also been teaching math for over eight years. Today, I'm here to help you out with some examples like you'll be seeing on the exam. Now I want to mention that you'll have access to an on-screen four-function calculator while you're taking the test, and I highly recommend that you take advantage of that. Let's get you feeling confident for test day. Ready? Let's take a look at this first question. It says lines BD and EG are parallel lines cut by a transversal AH. So we can see that here. Now before I go on, I just want to point out that we have some congruent angles. For example, this angle and this angle are vertical angles, or this angle and this angle are corresponding angles. And so those are all going to be congruent. If I wanted to use angles such as these two here, those are what we call supplementary, which mean they add to 180 degrees. So depending on what the particular problem looks like, that's some helpful information for these kinds of problems. So this particular problem wants us to find the measure of angle ACD which if we trace that, that's ACD, which is this angle measure right here, which you'll notice involves the variable X. So as I'm picking between these two angles to set up an equation with, I wanna go ahead and use this angle because they both use X and we're not dealing with X's and Y's in the same equation. So since these vertical angles are equal, I'm gonna go ahead and set them equal. So 6X minus eight is going to equal 5x plus 2. And now I can solve for x. So I'm going to go ahead and start by subtracting 5x from both sides of the equation so that my x's are going to be combined. So we're going to be left with x minus 8 equals 2. Now I'm going to go ahead and add 8 to eliminate that 8 and make sure I do that on both sides of the equation. So I'm going to get that x is equal to 10. Now, luckily that's not even an option, but always make sure with geometry you're looking for what they're actually asking, because a lot of times we have to take our variable that we get and plug it back in. And since we're looking for angle ACD up here, I need to plug it back into 6x minus 8. So we're going to go ahead and do that. 6 times 10 minus 8 is going to get us our angle measure. 6 times 10 is 60 minus 8 is going to leave us with a 52 degree angle measure for angle ACD. So 52 is our correct answer. All right, so this question wants us to solve for the area of the triangle. So it's gonna be helpful to know that the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height, or sometimes you might hear it as base times height divided by two. So all we need to do is go ahead and plug in the seven and the 12, which are our base and our height, and evaluate. So. 1 half times 7 times 12. Now, I would recommend using your calculator, or we can do 1 half times 12 first and do 6 times 7, which should give us an area of 42 square inches, which we see is the correct answer down here. All right, this question says, a square has a side length of 40 meters, a rectangle has a length of 80 meters, and the area of the rectangle is equal to the area of the square. And we wanna find what the width of the rectangle is. So we can start with the square because you may recall that a square has equal length and width. So we know that it's 40 meters by 40 meters. And so we can find the area of this square by simply taking that side length and squaring it. So the area is going to be 40 squared which is 40 times 40. Using a calculator, we can get that that is 1600 meters squared for that square. Now, because the area of the rectangle is equal to the area of the square, we can use that formula, which for a rectangle is gonna be the length times the width. And we can plug in that the length is 80, and we're trying to figure out what the width is. And we can also go ahead and plug in that 1600 for the area because that's gonna be the area of our rectangle as well. 
So then to solve for the width, all we need to do is divide both sides of this equation by 80 and do 1600 divided by 80, which is going to leave us with 20 meters for our width, which is the correct answer right here. All right, so this question asks, a circle with its area is given above, what is the radius of the circle? So we can see from the diagram here that the area is 576 pi centimeters squared. So we can go ahead and use the formula for the area of a circle, which is given by pi times the radius squared. And we can plug in the information that we do know, which is the area, so 576 pi, is equal to pi times the radius squared. Now, to begin, we can go ahead and divide both sides by pi. And that might feel weird, but remember pi is just a number. It's approximately 3.14. So those are going to eliminate on both sides the equation. So all we need to do here is take that 576, which is equal to the radius squared, and in order to find just the radius, we need to square root both sides of this equation. So we're really gonna find the square root of 576. When you use a calculator, you're gonna get 24 is equal to r, which is our radius. So our radius is 24 centimeters. I hope you found this helpful and you're feeling a little bit more confident for test day. If it was, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more helpful content. If you're looking for even more ways to study, be sure to check out study.com. As a member, you'll get access to short targeted video lessons, extra study materials, and hundreds of practice questions like the ones we just went over. We'd love to hear about your experience, so leave a comment below with your suggestions, questions, or even come back and share with us how you did. Study well, and good luck on your test!